Christmas. Good morning, good afternoon everyone. Welcome back for a new video. Today is the first day of Hanukkah, so I wanted to do a Hanukkah pour. Uh, I was talking to Mina, she's gonna do something today for Hanukkah as well, so I thought I would do something as well. I am going to be um, doing a sandwich pour. Traditional colors for a Hanukkah are usually blue and silver or blue and white. So what I thought I would do is I would do a sandwich pour using white, silver, and blue. So I'm very excited about it. Let's see how this goes. Very minimalistic, only using three colors in a sandwich for so. So let's get down on the canvas and start painting. See how this comes out. I'll be right back. All right, what I got here today is a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. Taped push pin down the back. And with today being the first day of Hanukkah, like I said, I'm gonna go with a very simplistic uh, color palette because colors for Hanukkah are white blue or blue and silver, so I'm gonna use all three. My base coat is the Artist Loft Soft Body Acrylic in the white. I am using Soho in the silver. Soho is a very thick body paint. And so my pouring medium today, I'm using two ounces of Liquitex Gloss Medium, two ounces of paint, and then I would say about six ounces of Floetrol. I want my paints to stay on the thicker side, so that's why I used so much paint. And then for the blue, I am using DecoArt in the Metallics in the Sapphire. And again, same mixture as well. So what I'm going to be doing with the sandwich pour is I'm going to put a layer of white in the bottom and then I'm going to put the blue and silver, another layer, blue and silver, another layer. For a 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas, you're going to need about 14 ounces of paint. Let's get started. All right, so let's put a little layer of white there. Put some blue. And silver. And I'm going to do two stick folds in between each layer. Great result. Throw in some white there. This time I'm going to do a little. 
remember. Okay, something that's, I want you to remember too is when you are using your white for your sandwich color, that always needs to be a little thicker than your colored paints. Because when you're layering the uh, colors in between the white layers, you're putting the, the color on top of a white layer, but then you want the white to sit on top of it. You don't want it to sink below the colors. So that's very important. Now what I've done with, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flood my uh, canvas now and I've thinned this down just a little bit because I do want this just a tad thinner than my paints because I want this to slide very easily. Okay, so we do have a 16 ounce cup of paint that I filled. I only need 14 ounces, but it is pretty full. So it might be a little of a messy dump, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dump here and kind of just move it around this way. So I'm gonna flip my cup about right here. One, two, three. Nice. Now, unlike a grenade pour, there is no uh, pin in this, or I'm not going to puncture the cup. So I'm going to kind of lift the cup and just kind of drag it around, and that's where I'm going to get my composition from. You can already see the cells forming right here where the silver and blue is already starting to intermingle. All right, so let's start lifting this up and moving this around. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I've got natural lines here where I move the cup through. So I'm not sure if I want to wreck this a little more or leave it and let the natural progression of the lines make this pour. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> give it a little bit of a torch. Really love this color combination. It's very simplistic, beautiful. All right, so let's start tilting this out. So like always when you're starting to tilt out your canvas, you wanna figure out where the weight of the paint is. So I lifted the cup here, moved it around, lifted it here, moved it around, lifted it here. So the majority of the weight is gonna be right here. 
So I think what I'm going to probably lose first is maybe I'll start working my way to that corner. But let's just figure out exactly where the weight is. Just kind of rocking it back and forth. Yeah, majority of the weight is here. So I'm going to take it this way. Beautiful. This is really stunning. Loving this slight hint of the silver through the blue and white. Got great composition, great lines. I'm glad I didn't wreck it more. I'm going to clean out my edges and I will bring you guys in here. Right here is the wet result. Really love the composition of this. There's little itty bitty blue cells popping up. There's gray uh, silver cells that are popping up within the blue cells. I love this so much. I hope this really uh, represents uh, Hanukkah for everyone who uh, celebrates Hanukkah. Let me bring you in here.
the silver inside the blue cells. Just beautiful. Alright, I really hope this dries in time to get this into this video. Fingers crossed. Alright guys, here is the dried result. As you can see, we have tons and tons of snow down on the ground. Which is very fitting for this piece. Let me bring you in here up close. All right, guys, here's the dried result of all of the uh, tiles. I've got them resined and they are beautiful. They have the cork backings. They are ready to go. Okay, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. This really dried well. It's so beautiful. Great representation of the colors for Hanukkah. Um, loving the cute little cells that are in throughout this, even the silver cells that are in the blue cells, really cool. Uh, this is almost like a piece that's gonna be really pretty for doing something, maybe a stencil on it. Um, all right, everyone. So thanks for tuning in for today's video. Don't forget at 8 p.m. tonight is the 12 days of Christmas pour, and today will be day six. Last night was day five, five golden rings with Nate Bright Art. Tonight is going to be um, day six with K and K Create. So head over to their channel at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content. Don't forget that all of my art is for sale. If you have anything that you've seen that's got your interest there, email me or send me a direct message on Facebook or Instagram. All right, everyone, see you next time. Bye-bye.